Hi everyone! Okay, so I promised I'd do a tutorial, a warbler tutorial for the Daenerys armbands. Um, so I already pre-made this one, just so I knew what I was doing while I was making the tutorial. Um, Alright, so let's get started. Here are some materials that you're going to need in order to make Daenerys' armbands. Now, of course, you can use these materials to make anything else, and these techniques can be used um, for pretty much every other project that you'll be using Warbla for. Um, okay, so, of course, you've got our Warbla, um, our pattern that we've used, or that we've made with tracing paper, um, a ruler, um, here you can see I already cut out one piece of the pattern and um, um, out of a piece, and here's a piece of the Warbla. It's actually doubled up onto itself because, as you can see, Warbla is pretty thin. And in order to give your design some thickness, you're going to have to double it up against itself, which is really, really easy because it adheres to itself when it's hot. Um, now, to heat it up, the best way is to use a heat gun. You can use a blow dryer. I've done that before, but it takes, like, double as long, and ain't no one got time for that. Um, Alright, so as well as Warbla, you're also going to use some craft foam to sandwich in between um, to give it some even more thickness. Um, as you can see here in the pattern, I measured out uh, the armband to be an inch wide and then going in about a quarter of an inch on both sides there's going to be a raised strip which is what I'm going to cut the um, craft foam and I'm going to sandwich that in between two pieces of warbler um, and that will give it this raised thickness in between. Um, I'm using this rosary to um, give indents um, along the edge here turns out it was kind of perfect. And I really like the way that turned out. So it's giving it some extra dimension this way as well. Um, Alright, so... Oh, and the tape is just to keep things inside because Warbler will like blow around when you're using the heat gun. So if you're using like a small piece or if you're heating up um, uh, scrap pieces of Warbler, you can heat them up in here or wherever container and then that'll keep them well, contained, and then you can mold them into whatever. Okay, so for the sake of saving time, I've done a couple things ahead of time. Um, Alright, so first thing is I'm going to cut out the piece of craft foam, which I already have here. I have this piece. Um, basically, you just measure it out onto the piece here. I measured mine about 10 inches long because that will fit around my bicep. And, um, mm, that's about, what, like a half an inch wide. Um, and this is going to be the piece that goes right here in the middle to give it that raised design. Now, after the craft foam, you want to cut out your warbler. I've already measured out both of my pieces of warbler. Um, both are an inch wide and 10 inches long. Um, so then just take your good pair of scissors and cut it out. Now I'm actually showing you this because I just want to show you how easy it is to actually cut craft foam. Or sorry, not craft foam, warbla. We all know how easy it is to cut craft foam. Um, so even though Warbla is a thermoplastic, and, um, when I first heard about that, like, I kind of got the impression that, like, it was just going to be really tough to work with, but in fact, it's super easy. Um, really, really glad I found this material. I'm really excited to, because I haven't really worked with it too much. Um, as soon as I get... Um, more likes on the page, I will post up my Zofia cosplay, and Zofia is a character that the artist Nene Thomas has um, created, 
she's um, if you go to Nene Thomas's website, nenethomas.com, and go to her online portfolio, you'll be able to click through and um, and see the painting of Zofia. So you'll know who I'm talking about. Um, I will also link her website at the bottom of the video. Okay, so now we've got our two pieces of Warbla. Um, there are two sides. This side is quite rough and um, on this side it's much smoother um, and the smoother side has more of an adhesive quality when it's heated up with the heat gun. So this is the side that we'll be heating up mostly um, and this, these are also the sides that are going to be sandwiched together um, with the piece of craft foam in between. So now I'm going to go get my heat gun. We're actually going to move this to the bathroom because there's tile in there and the heat gun cannot damage tile. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, so here we are in the bathroom. We've got heat gun, tile floor, and our warbla and craft foam pieces. Okay, so I'm just going to separate them and have the smooth sides up. Um, keep the craft foam to the side because craft foam is also affected by heat. So, um, here we go. It only takes a couple seconds for Warbla to uh, warm up. And you can tell that it'll be ready to use once the material has relaxed. Um, it gets very soft and warbly. Now while it's still hot and a bit tacky, we're going to just eyeball this um, and just kind of press it down in the middle and then just stretch it over all the way to the other end. And just kind of fidget around with it a little bit, making sure that it is in the center. And just pressing down lightly. Um, just to make sure that you can still move it if you need to relocate it. Okay. Now to sandwich. As well as applying heat to this top piece, apply more heat to the bottom piece as well, just so there's a good amount of adhesion to it. You kind of want to work a little quickly, just to make sure nothing gets um, cooled down too quickly either. So you just want to lay that right on top, and just press it down a little bit. Now you can see that the top piece is taking the shape of the craft foam. And then you're just going to want to heat it up again and it will um, form to the rectangular um, shape of the craft foam underneath even more. Now this does get really hot so be careful not to burn your fingers. just press it down and that helps it to take the shape even better and also to adhere it to the bottom piece of warbla that way you create one continuous piece now with this particular uh, accessory it's all right that the edges aren't perfect. Um, there's a little bit of ruggedness to the elements that Daenerys wears. So it's okay that nothing is perfectly even, um, that it has kind of like a real handmade quality to it. So the next step is to heat it once again and um, 
use that rosary that I had before and use the beads to create the divots. Okay, so heat it up again. You just press these right on onto it, just press it down kind of hard to make sure that it gets the imprint. And then you can just peel it off and then continue from there. Now, the, my favorite thing about the Warbla is that you can reheat it as many times as you need to and it will never get ruined. And also the shapes that you've created um, and the designs that you've created onto it won't get, won't be compromised by reheating as well as long as they're not touched while it's still warm and pliable. step is finished. Now the next thing that we want to do is to grab the um, top design and I already cut that piece out so I'm gonna go grab that. Okay so here I have the top design um, sort of diamond shaped piece that goes on the top in the middle of the design. So I'm just going to heat this up and this up as well and just stick it right on top. Now I'm just eyeballing this because it will, um, once I close the circle up and apply it, or just when I wear it, it won't, um, as long as this is facing the right di direction on my arm, it'll look just fine. So just kind of pressing that on there. Don't want to flatten it though. Just kind of make it go with the um, direction of, of the band itself. Now the um, design shows that there are two little divots right in here, so I'm going to heat this up again. And I'm going to use the rosary one more time and just kind of press one bead in. This one just a little bit deeper. All right. Perfect. So um, I have some extra warbler here that. Um, I actually just, it was scraps and I heated it up and I rolled it into like a little snake thingy. Um, when I heat this up again, I can remove little bits and pieces and create little beads and that's exactly what I'm going to do and I'm going to be placing them right in there. And also be careful when you do this too because the warble can be very, very hot. Now you'd think that wouldn't be a problem for Daenerys because she is the unburnt, but unfortunately I am not actually her. And that makes me cry just a little bit. I come to think of it, she'd be um, an excellent crafter because she wouldn't have to worry about hot glue or hot fixed rhinestone machines burning her 
or any of the multitude of heat things that we use. Oh well. Uh, oh no. See, okay, this is where my little tape thing comes in great handy. Be right back. Ta-da! Okay. Little tips and tricks. So these little beads, I don't want them to be perfectly round, so I'm just kind of doing a little football shape. And then just seeing how that fits in there. Mm, yeah, that's nice. And we do it again. Okay, so now we heat the entire thing up one more time, and then we mold it to my arm. I don't want this too hot because I don't want to burn my arm, but I heated up the ends a little bit extra just so I can attach them to each other. Oh, and then from there, I'll just put it on my arm once it's cooled down just a little. And let it set to the actual shape of my arm using my own arm as a mold. And while it's still a little sticky, I mean, it's not going to stick to your skin, but it might, like, I don't use the word snag because that implies that it would be painful. It's not painful at all. It's just kind of like, it, it sticks, but not sticks. You know what I mean. Just find the right placement on your arm. Just kind of mush it. To fit, just kind of flex. Because your arm is not a perfect circle. It's got, it's not even like a perfect oval. It's just kind of, it's so organic that you want the shape of your warbler to fit you. Um, so that when you put it on, it's a perfect fit. and that it won't go anywhere when you're moving around and you're having fun at your conventions and all that fun stuff. So then I just stick here for a little while and just kind of wait till it cools down. Once it's cool, it'll hold its shape for good until you reheat it again and hopefully you won't have to do that too many times. Okay, that Feels good. Yay. And slide it off. There you have it. Your armbands. Now, um, I will do a video tutorial on how to prime and paint these, so. I hope you enjoyed this Warbler tutorial. It was a pleasure. Um, yeah, I know I really hope it helped. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave me uh, comments or email me or what have you. All right, till next time.